today our topic is about figurative language. Do you know what is figurative language? Figurative language is when you use a word or a phrase that does not normal literally the meaning. So writers can use figurative language to make their works more dramatic and interesting than the literal language or standard language. As we know, figurative language have many kinds to use. The examples are simile, metaphors, personification, hyperbole, onomatopoeia, etc. But this is the general ones. Then we will start from simil. Simil. A simil is a figure of speech comparing two different things that introduced by like or as. For example, as cold as ice, as sweet as sugar, as tall as giraffe, runs like a cheetah. P.S. You can make it to sentence and add subjects in the beginning. It will be, he runs like a cheetah. Metaphor A metaphor is a figure of speech that describes an object or an action in a way that isn't true, but helps to explain the comparison. The difference with simile, simile use like or as while metaphor not. The conclusion is, metaphor is an object or activity that is used as a symbol. For example, love is a battlefield, you're an angel. Her lovely voice was music to his ears, I'm feeling blue. Personification Personification is a figure of speech representing non-human things as if it was human. For example, the camera loves her since she is so pretty. The leaves waved in the wind. The moon smiled at the stars. Hyperbole Hyperbole is a figure of speech to exaggerate what you mean. It's used to make something sound much bigger. Example, this bag weighs a ton. Your brain is the size of P. This is the worst day of my life. Okay, so we are at the end of this video. So the last one is onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a word of figure of speech that imitates the natural sound of a thing. For example, boom, whoosh, buzz, honk, and crow.